What's going on y'all, it's DG back with another video today. Finally gonna give y'all an in-depth performance review on these bad boys right here, the Kobe 6 Pro Pro reverse Grinch. So let's get right into it. For context, there were three drops from Nike for this release. First was the shock drop, second was the exclusive access, and then third was the official drop on December 15th, I believe. So I got this pair from the first drop, which was the shock drop. So I've had this pair for, you know, since like the beginning of December or like towards the beginning of December. I've had this pair for a while and I've been playing in it all throughout this month. And I really, really love this pair right here. Very, very nice color aesthetically. I do think the Grinches are better, but red is my favorite color. I did pay resale to get this pair just because I needed to make content for all of my socials. So that's how I got this pair early. Starting with the traction consists of this scale pattern. You have translucent in the front, solid in the back. This pair right here works very, very well, especially on dusty quartz. So traction for me is honestly like a 10 out of 10. There's not much to say about it. It's just very, very good. In terms of durability, you're not really going to have too many issues. You will be affected by dust. You can see here it is kind of dirty even after I cleaned it, but durability should be pretty good. In terms of outdoor use, I wouldn't recommend it just because it's not the most durable. It's just very, very good indoors, but you're still, you know, if you do use these outdoors for some reason, you will get really, really good bite out there as well. In terms of the cushion, you have Zoom Turbo in the forefoot, as well as a Cushlon midsole. Very, very comfortable. The main highlights of this cushion is bounce. So this is different than in the Kobe 4s and 5s because this shoe right here just feels a lot more bouncy, especially with the carbon fiber in the midfoot. So cushion for me is like a 10 out of 10 too. This is my favorite basketball shoe of all time. And I really, really like the cushion in these. Very comfortable, although not as close to the ground, not as much court feel as the fives or the fours, but still very, very good court feel and more impact protection, I would say. In terms of materials, we have the snake skin upper right here, very lightweight. So transitioning to the weight as well, this is one of the lightest, bounciest, greatest traction shoes I've ever played in. So this material is not going to give you any issues. Only thing to call out though, is that my paint on the swoosh is starting to chip right there. It may be hard to see on camera, but it is starting to chip at like the edges, which I'm not a fan of. So let me know what you guys think of that. In terms of support of the shoe, this is a very, very supportive upper. Although it is very lightweight, you're not going to feel out of containment or any lack of support. It also has like a very wide base. You guys see that outrigger right there. And one thing that I would recommend adding to this shoe are the move insoles. This has a built-in support plate right there, which helps with impact protection because it aligns all of your movements. And when you land, you're able to feel the plate and all, everything, all the energy is going to be evenly distributed. So that's the science behind this insole right here, which I really recommend. So definitely use my discount code in the description below, especially if you're looking to get an improved insole for this pair. The reason why I mentioned that is because the insole that this comes with is a styrofoam insole, pretty famous thing where it molds to your feet. That's one of the main selling points of the Kobe 6 Pro Tro. But the problem with that insole is that it takes a very long time to break in fully. And a lot of people don't have that time or just may feel uncomfortable with that. So I definitely just recommend adding this insole as well, just because it adds, you know, less break in time and more support with the plate and cushion. You guys see that crash pad right there. So I would definitely just recommend getting the game day pros, especially if you're hooping, you know, for real, or just the regular game days. Both of them are on discount in the link in my description if you're interested. Moving on to the fit is probably the worst part about this shoe. It is very, very narrow and kind of fits small. Lengthwise, it's okay, but it's definitely in the midfoot. It is not as one-to-one, -one, I feel like, as the Kobe 5s, where if you go one-to-one, -one, it's not as uncomfortable. But with these, if I go true to size, it does feel pretty uncomfortable. So I would recommend just going a half size up. For casual wear, you can definitely just go true to size. But if you're making, you know, athletic movements, then your foot's definitely going to hurt in true to size, especially if you're a wide footer. So I would just recommend going half size up. In terms of colorway and aesthetics, the Kobe 6 is my favorite looking basketball shoe of all time. It's my favorite performance basketball shoe of all time. And the colorway red is my favorite color of all time. So I absolutely love it. I did also put red laces in this shoe right here so you guys can see that. 
So basically you take the red laces from the Grinch and you put it into the reverse Grinch and that's how you get the red, all red reverse Grinch. So leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys prefer. Do you guys prefer the all red or the normal laces that it comes with in green? Aesthetically, these are a very, very nice shoe. I'm very happy to have these in the collection. And it's just like, if you have the regular Grinch, you're definitely gonna need these. If you were to pay resale for this pair because you did not get them for retail, on StockX, they're hovering around four to 500 right now. With taxes, fees, shipping, that's probably around five to 600 for most sizes. Are they worth it? I would say probably not. You know, practically speaking, they're not worth it just because there's a lot of great options, alternatives out there, not only from Nike, but from other brands as well. If you are a Kobe collector, if you are into the Kobe Pro Tro line, if you only like to play in Kobe's, then honestly, they are worth it in my opinion. It is an iconic colorway. I do think that this is probably the best Pro Tro we've seen in a very long time since the Mamba Sita Kobe 6s, which honestly were one of the only releases that we got in a while. So this is definitely up there in terms of just iconicness and down the line, people are definitely going to want this pair. So if you are a Kobe collector, that's when I say it's worth it. If you're just a hooper looking for a basketball shoe, then there are so many alternatives out there like the LeBron 21s, LeBron 20s on sale, KD line, pretty much anything that you can mention definitely can rival these. And at the end of the day, the shoes don't give you skill or don't make you better, right? So it's just like, if you're into Kobe's, if you grew up playing in them and you collect them and you have the funds, fortunately, then th that's when it's worth it. Um, that's why a lot of people are getting this pair. And if you got them for retail, then definitely try to get it. I did pay early for this pair, but I did end up getting exclusive access on that second drop. So I do have a pair for retail. Overall, y'all leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of the Kobe 6 Pro Trip Reverse Grinch. This is definitely my sneaker of the year. So leave a comment down below and let me know. Follow me on all socials at DJ Hoops, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.